Gamma ya kona mna ya kona na live. On live again. Okay, what do you have to say? Yeah. Okay, keep me listening and then okay, that's good. <laughs> Sorry, yo, I'm back again. I'm back again. Okay, let us hear you. Mr. Mr. Females are, my, are going away from this. Yeah, my, actually, if you have a females, uh, a females because just like tell me, I'm just like go off. Mm. How how is abortion a solution? I just like I'm trying to just wrap my head around that. How is a solution? You heard all that now. Here's what they said. They how? said a lot. No, like Friend, I heard, no, like, like the like the like the example that was given was the fact okay a situation whereby um maybe a child has complications or maybe the woman is about to lose her life because of the a, a child or maybe there are some complications so you could your doctor might not advise you know take the child off so that you know okay I think so like that's uh, for a medical like for a medical reason okay um fashion I know you're a guy fashion me I can see your picture like. I'm I'm trying to like actually like think of this right now. I'm thinking of this right now. But is it everything your doctor say you must follow? About abortion. It's not everything. But about abortion. Next your doctor say you must follow. Mm -hmm. about it's abortion. not everything, no. It's not and it's not everything. I don't I don't understand yet because well I I really don't know. <laughs> no, 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 you see, um, see, I think I know what I'm trying to say as a Christian, right? There are some things that, that we must we must be yeah. we have, we have faith in God, right? That's what I'm trying to say. That's your point. But let me tell you, there are some choices whereby it is prohibited for them to go to the hospital for any treatment. I know of someone back in Nigeria in my streets who was very sick, but because it's it's it, it, it is out of out of their their is it their doctrine for them to go to the hospital. The person who goes to the hospital person died. That is ignorance. Because some people feel that God will come from heaven and come and save you. God has placed doctors with intelligence to also know what to do at the right time. Now, it depends on your work with God, yes. But at the same time, wisdom is needed on some certain cases. I hope you get what I'm okay. trying to say. Okay, I, I feel you. You actually make a lot of sense. I feel you. No, seriously, um, Rocco Diho says, um, leave Christianity alone. You can't leave Christianity alone. But the fact we is that we must use alone. common sense. We must also use common sense as we can, well. We can, we can leave. We can, okay, charge your phone. This one is stopping me. Charge your phone. <laughs> we can, Rocco Diho, sorry, we can't leave Christianity alone. That's just the basic truth. We cannot mm. because. Sorry, hold up. Okay, but boy, you can't shake that. So, Matt, is stop you. Matt, is stop you. Don't angry me. <laughs> so, like, see, the thing right now I'm just going to say is that, see, ah, do you know this life will not get better? It will get better. It will get better. Do you believe this life will get better? You have to be positive, be optimistic ah. about it. Do you know what the Bible says about this world we live in? I know this is this is the period of the end time, so things are happening. So will it get better? Will it get better? We hope it gets better. We hope it no. I don't I don't think it will get better. Let me just tell Why? you I don't think it will get better. Because <sighs> see, I think one guy said we don't we don't struggle, we don't wrestle against body and flesh, against flesh and power. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what's the point? What's the point? Why would my wife and I decide to have like an abortion because doctor doctor is telling me that my child will come out with two heads. I don't I don't care. See it's a see it's a personal decision. It is not <laughs> you 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 can like I said earlier speak for yourself. Others can tell you could have first can't carry it. That, see, exactly that's what that first can carry it. Mr. Elenio, Mr. Elenio <laughs> Mr. Elenio said that he said that uh back at put it he said that um it was like I'm wrong X Y Z no. So mm. see how okay, how can you justify abortion as being a solution mm. and this Bible as your case point? How tell me? I just want to wrap my head around that. How or if the if the if uh, what can I put it? If you go to the hospital, the doctor tells you, Ah, Mr. Ajale Koko, you are going to abort this child. Is he going mm. to use the Bible to back it up? No, it won't. So, speak on from medical perspective, Exa exa exactly. So what I'm just trying to say is that, see, I don't know, I don't know how people think, oh, I don't know. But my own is just that, man, I just feel that whatever I want to do. Tesla says, skip the thou shall not mother. Why should we skip thou shall not mother, Tesla? <laughs> mm -hmm. I actually, I actually feel that, I actually feel that whatever decision you want to make, that you know it's biblical incorrect, don't bring medical stuff to it. 
that's just where I see this life as like those because there are some medical doctors that will even tell you that homosexuality is they will tell you some doctors will tell you that medically it is right to abort a kid they'll tell you medically like there are many things that are right medically that biblically like biblically rather sorry it is it is like super wrong it is wrong mm. it is wrong or it's not the same person that actually like transforming woman to man so what, what's mr daniel what's mr daniel what are you saying what are you saying exactly <laughs> No, man, I don't believe abortion he is wrong. He is super wrong. And when he was talking, I was actually going through some articles of some different churches like online and stuff. And they were against that. Why would you tell me abortion is the solution to what? Say now, nah, did the baby call an anti woman's a, a woman's abdomen? No now. That's why I said whatever intimacy you want to have with any female, be ready to bear the consequences. It's as simple as that. Don't tell me. Uh, no, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, I think, I think, it gets already complaining right now. Okay, okay. So, let me, uh, let, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. so, like, okay. I, I will so, talk to I'm going to call you now. Okay. All right, all right, <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Um, Nancy of Fish Official, um, let me send a request first. Let me still send some just request. Okay. Talk with Ella. So after talk with Ella, I'll talk. To, I'll, I'm gonna call Nancy. Nancy official. So let's hear from talk with Ella because we've not heard from a lady. Hi. Hi. Thanks for Hi. calling. You're my first. You're my first time caller. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Abuja, Nigeria. Okay. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Have you seen your comments? So what do you have to say? Okay, first of all, and eh, let me because I jotted some things that when Bumi was talking. Eh. Okay, so you know, he spoke about hold on, sorry, I'm trying to think about yeah. Okay, so Bumi said something about um, not having sex with someone you do not, you don't have plan to have sex with, and um, you don't have plan to maybe spend the rest of your life together. Mm. I, I think, yeah, that's that's one part. And then another part is, you guys are actually, you are planning to get married, but it's not just the right time to have a kid yet. Mm. Abstinence is not easy. Like, oh my God, I'm just looking at, you know, how mm. everybody's, it's, that's what I'm saying, the personal opinion is what I feel. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially what I am Elijah has said, I think that's his personal opinion opinion and i think also i think mr bumi too i think everybody is you know it's our life and it's our decision to make exactly. yeah abstain the way you might abstain my like, is obviously will be different from what i'm going to do mm. but if i'm in a relationship with somebody we might not have sex for a while but after a while we'll have sex definitely mm. okay now i thought there was the issue of condom um, um about what Mr. Bumi said about 21. I don't know. I think that's I don't think that's <laughs> I don't think so. I have a lot of respect and hearing that too. Hmm. I don't think that is true, but then I think I, I'm still repeating it again. I don't think I want us to be very, very realistic here. Hmm. I don't think abstinence is that easy the way we are putting it. Hmm. That's number one. Okay. And then I've actually been in a position whereby I called a friend and I'm like, babe, I might be pregnant. And I'm not going to empty. I was not going to like, <laughs> I was not going to have that child. <laughs> if it was, I'm telling you, like, I'm trying to be realistic. I was not, if it was true, I'll be like, hey, hey, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Because <laughs> but, but, first of all, it's the right time. I mean, I just barely started working two years ago. I've not even made anything yeah. in my life. You get. So I would okay. not at all, yes. But then I'm dating somebody. You get. And mm -hmm. we are leading. Yes. And I think necessary sex is part of the relationship. Mm. You understand? So mm. I, do, I don't yeah. know, man. Abortion. Like someone was writing here yeah, that. The life, the future is not your life till it's born or something. I, I see understanding in that because mm. when the child, when the future is in the womb, it's what you eat, you know, that goes through the uh, umbilical cord, Abby. And then, mm -hmm. 
child, yes. So the child is not alive yet. Because there are some kids that when you even when the child comes out, you have to beat them. You understand? Because you know they might be they might still be sleeping. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you short. I was talking to a friend who said she watched a documentary, like a true into documentary that the thing of the matter is that the, the, the child is always alive. Like, even if it's the first, I think this person sent me, like, the first month, the child is always alive. And we feel that the child is not alive, but the child is alive, and it's committing murder. <laughs> but I also asked a question. You said, when you were, you, were, you thought you were, good, you were going to, they're going to, like, you know, they were actually pregnant, and that you, were, you thought of, like, you, you cannot have that child. Were you not scared of the fact that there will be complications if you, go, if, if you like, have a child? Another thing I forgot to add was the pills aspect, yeah? Okay. I was going to... I had the, okay, the problem I had was the day after. There's this pill they call um, the day after, the morning after or something like that. Is it post, is it post, I or something? They want to call post-phenol or something? Yeah, yeah, post yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have that. And I couldn't get it that day because I had to go to work. And I, was, I couldn't obviously send somebody. So that one has serious side effects because... Your period, like I think Bumi or somebody else said, you might not see your period for like years. <laughs> I don't wow. know. It happen to everybody. Mm. Everybody's different. Some people are mm. yes. So as at that time, you were saying complication. You know, what made me feel like I was pregnant at that time? My boobs were getting big. Mm. Do you get that? Mm. Like, oh my God. My boobs are getting heavy. <laughs> you get I had not even done tests, but you know how you know your book size now. Yeah. Then something mm. different. Mm. Weird. My bra is getting is big. So I was like, oh my God. So immediately I'm like, I don't need to go to the hospital to go and tell them to open my vagina and remove the photos now. Mm. Yet I heard that pills, that the pills are actually not for removing the photos, but I think it's for it's for um high is it bp or it's a drug for a one ailment like that but i think there's a way oh. you take it and okay. then it's good. but that's at early stage so as at okay. that time i calculated it compared to when i've had sex and i think that was quite early for me to even as at that time if i'd done pee if i'd peed on a stick and i was pregnant i don't think it would show you understand so so I think that at that time, because me, mine was not going to be, I'm going to open my leg and somebody will feel something inside. Like <laughs> I think I was going to go, I was not saying that I'm not, what would I tell my mother? She would just die that I'm pregnant. <laughs> I can't do that. And then my career is at stake here. Yeah. Like, you know how when a child comes in, everything, like, I don't know, I'm not Genius. married. It's Genius. marriage, like, something of happiness. But when, even in marriage, a lot of things changes. So talk less of me that I'm single. I'll not get pregnant. Mm -hmm. no way. Like, I don't know. I, I think the only way you can actually understand it is when you are in that position. Because mm -hmm. though I was pregnant, but it seemed I like I was. So it was mm -hmm. like I was almost in that position whereby I was like, oh my God. This is not, I'm ready to go in your end. Please, let this thing not be true. I literally even went to church and told God that I would be here again. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> After I found out that it was fine, and that, I, in fact, I was on, and funny things, like three, four days later, I now said my menstrual stuff. I was like, God is good. Like, I literally gave testimony in my house. In my <laughs> so, <laughs> no love. I think abortion is a, I think it's, abortion is, it depends on the situation you are in. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm having sex with somebody that I'm, I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with him. Like definitely, but it's just not the right time. That's that's my point. Do you get? So okay. I think abortion depends on the situation. I'm I'm not I'm a Christian, though. like Christian. My mother, if she even knows I'm having sex, I'm just sure I'm attacked. That. But <laughs> there's nothing I can do. But then um, I don't. I yeah, I'm a Christian, but religion. I mean, we need to. 
Anyways, we need to survive, sir. So I'm just saying, abortion depends on what situation you're in. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm saying it's right or wrong. I'm not coming from the religious aspect at all. I don't want to even go there, because if I go there, like um, I'm Elijah, Pastor, I am Elijah. He <laughs> <It> will lead to me. But I am wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to religion. Really like, you gave me Bible passage, Isaiah. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just coming from trying to be, using my personal experience and trying to be as realistic as possible. Possible. Men, men, I think it depends because I cannot just, if I'm, if I've gotten to maybe a career stage of where I want to be and I just see that I'm pregnant, I'll even go and ask my boyfriend out um, for marriage. I'll just need that be like, let's get married, man. Mm -hmm. It has come. Okay. Well, as I went that time, I was feeling it, babe. Uh -huh. I was ready to do anything. I'm like, nothing's going to stop me. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. Oh, so, um, I think that's all. So, bottom line, you're all. trying to say that it's a solution and a problem as well. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. If you uh, so summarize it. It depends on the situation, the circumstances of where you are really that's what as in the circumstances you find yourself that's my own about it so mr i am elijah i'm sorry to <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> nice really having this live video how often Thanks do you a lot do for this joining. i do it um, on every sunday every sunday oh okay i've never but seen it, start, it starts by um 9 p.m nigerian time Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like total Nigeria, they were watching Big Brother. So Oh I guess, that's yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> well, thank you right, for calling. I appreciate this call. Thank you. My first male caller, so I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hope to see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Because that was Ella, that was one of my first female callers. Um, so I'm going to have my next meal caller, Nancy. Um, let's see. Hi, Nancy. Thanks Hello. for joining. Thank you very much. For okay, first time caller too. Where are you calling us from? Um, England. Okay, oh, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. So, I've been seeing your comments. What do you have to say? I joined the conversation pretty late, so I don't even know, okay. like, the question, but I think it's about abortion. Abortion? Do you think it's a problem or solution? I would say we shouldn't look at it from a religious point of view. Because, okay. first of all, there's so many religions in this world. So many religions. And every religion has a rule about certain things. So if we're saying, oh, as a Christian, mm. you think about the Muslims, the Buddhists, the, there's so many other religions in this world that people think, like, okay, yeah, mm. My religion says I can abort. So we should look at it from like medically and from the state of law, like where you live. Like some states in America, they say okay. abortion is wrong. If you abort, then you go to prison. And some places they say, oh yeah, you're free to abort. So I feel like it is a situation where medically, if you want to abort, it is your choice. It's not, it's not a matter of right or wrong. Unless you're breaking like the law of your state or something like that. But it's not a matter of okay. right or wrong. And also, I don't think a fetus has life until it's like beginning a bit because babies, they can't, babies in the world can't survive on their own. They need, they connect to the umbilical cord of the mom. They still have mm. still beds. So I don't think if you start counting life from um, conception, but rather from delivery. Because if okay. not, you start counting birthdays from the day you, were, you got pregnant, from the day you gave birth to the child. So okay. logically, I don't think. Oh, um, what's it called? You should start counting um life from conception. Okay. And someone said, yeah, that um a baby, um, scientifically, a fetus is a baby. But no, because it has a process that goes through the egg and the ovary and everything else. Mm. It doesn't even start forming until like three months after. So what are you doing when you're two months pregnant? You find out. Because I don't think that's a baby then. It's just like mm. an embryo or something like that. So I don't think, I think... It just depends on where you live. If your state says you're free to abort, you can abort as much as you want to. And it's morality also is relative to people and it's subjective. So if you feel your yeah. mind is enough to like you want abort, fine, carry on. I don't we shouldn't look at it from the point of religion because religion really has done a lot of problems. It causes yeah. a lot of 
misconceptions and everything else. So that's what I have to say. Okay, so for you, you feel... So in summary, do you say it's a solution or problem, or you feel it's just on both ends? I, it's not a problem. I don't think it's a problem. So I it's think, a solution. I think even... I think the states in America that say you should not, but I think they should stop that law because it doesn't make sense telling you what to do with your body. Mm. If you're not able to bring a child <laughs> to the world right mm. now, I don't think you sh you should be put through that process because you bring a child to the world. What, what can you offer the child? Nothing. So okay. it really is a matter of your choice whether you want to abort or not. But do you do you do you feel um, the best solution is abstinence? Yeah, it is abstinence, but it's not easy. As she said, <laughs> as you I, said. Feel, I feel abstinence comes when you haven't done it before. If you've never had sex, then you will be able to abstain because you don't know what it feels like. But once you have sex, it's very hard for people to stay celibate. Mm. Okay, yeah, some people drop in some comments. They said that science, biblically, it's, um, let me see. This is, um, it has life from the very first seconds. So, it has life from the very first seconds. So if it has life in the very first second, why can't the, why can't the mother give birth to the child once she's pregnant? Mm. You have to wait until nine months. It is a whole process. It takes process for the child to become... Even when you have, like, premature beds, they put the child in an um, incubator because, you know, the child doesn't, can't survive on its own yet. It's not, it's not a life. I want to ask a question mm. to some people as well. I remember someone asking me this question once, said to me, Okay. If you're in a room that's on fire and there's a baby, no, like, let me, I always say baby, I use like a 10 year old, and then there are like different incubators filled with um, premature children, and you can only save. What do you hmm. do? Do you save the already living child or do you save the one in the, in the incubator? Okay. Viewers, watch and listen and answer the question. <laughs> but for me, if I were to choose, <sighs> because I can't save all of them, I think I would save the 10 year old anyway. Exactly. Because that one already has life. The ones in the incubator, the, the, the child in the incubator, the premature embryo in the incubator, does not have life yet. But the 10-year-old already has life. He has perfect mm. prospect of living. So I don't think a fetus is a baby until you give back to the child. I don't think it's a baby. Medically as well, there's some, there's, it gets okay. to the stage where... Um, Elijah is saying, he's asking, he said, are you the one who started the fire? This is very funny. <laughs> oh my God, different comments. It says, <laughs> Femi Shine says, it's not only our morality that's an issue when we talk about abortion. Okay, Femi Shine, I'd like to hear from you too. Yeah, I, I want to know what he says about that one. So, exactly. Mm. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a problem. I mean, it's, okay. it's not a choice. Like just the way people decide, oh, I want to be homosexual. You can't force religion or morality on people. You really mm -hmm. shouldn't. It's, it's you and your God. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I won't tell somebody who says to me, oh, I'm gay. Oh, no, you can't be gay because the Bible says you can't be gay. It's not my business. It's your life. You want to choose to be, if you choose to be a lesbian, if you choose to be gay, that is fine by me. That's, it's between you and your God. We don't even know if eventually this whole bible thing because i've been reading i've been seeing like um documentaries saying this whole bible thing was talked about the white people to control masses we don't know mm. but i believe you can't live without having faith or believing in something so i choose to believe in god if you choose to believe in nothing that's fine that's fine by you but you can't tell people don't about because it's a, it's a sin in your own religion there's so mm. many other religions what if they're not christians what do you tell them so it's just a matter of choice and where you live because obviously, if you are bought in some states in America, you get to go to prison. Mm. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you very uh, much. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm um, up to see you next week um, for another live. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. So that was our second female caller. Um, let's see. Oh, let me talk where. Yeah, not that female, but let me hear from someone that sent me a request. Oh, you know, that was very fast. <laughs> okay, let's hear from another female. The guys have been talking, so now we've got two females as a third female. Hola. What's up? 
Good evening. So the topic is abortion, the solution or problem? Abortion. What do you think? What did you say? Abortion, a solution or a problem? Okay, hold on, please. Yeah, I can hear you now. So the question is abortion, a solution or a problem? What's your opinion? Ah, uh, well, it depends. Okay, it depends on uh, what? This question is hard to answer. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. <laughs> we've had, like, we've had a lot of arguments from, I think we've had, like, three male callers and... Oh, did you call, cut it off? She wants to think. Let's give her time to think. <laughs> Femi. Let's hear from you. Tim Tokma is offline, but she's going to come back, I believe. Hi, Femi. Thanks for joining. Oh, I thought Tokma was done. I didn't know it was. I joined. She, I don't know. She just went off like that. I don't know what happened. Oh, wow. Okay. I was I was about to listen to her opinion, but... Okay. Um. Yeah. What was the question again? Let's start from this. Abortion, a solution or a problem? Abortion is definitely a solution. Okay. And why? I uh, will speak from, I don't want us to look at it. I want us to speak from a very liberal point of view. I know we are from different um, religious backgrounds and everything, but I want us to be very liberal and be open minded okay. to this. So let's put religion aside, let's put, you know, all our training aside and just look at common sense. Um, as a Nigerian, growing up in Nigeria, growing up in certain you know environments, I saw firsthand what ignorance can cause. And I saw people living below the poverty line. And when I say below poverty line, I'm saying poverty is here. And they are way below poverty line, having kids. And, you know, I didn't understand that concept until I grew up. And I began to realize that um, maybe these people didn't understand what, you know, raising a family is all about. If you're not financially capable to raise children and then you mm. go pregnant, why are you not take, thinking of abortion? as an option to, mm. I mean, you're bringing the child into a life of difficulty right off the bat, right off the scratch. You're bringing the child into poverty. So uh, putting a taboo on in situations like that, it's ridiculous to me because I'm like, okay, you rather let this child go through all the vices of life, mm. you know, being born into poverty and end up being a criminal or something because definitely society will, you know, um, all the vices are available. Once you're poor, you are more susceptible to crime and everything. Do you understand? So why don't why should we now say, oh, Christ said we should not abort child? No, Christ also said, I mean, it's common sense to not bring a child into poverty. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So okay. I saw, like, you know, I was, this, they had this, you know, this very good concept of a lot of free a lot more, and that the child will grow up. You know, they saw children as investments, and they didn't realize that half of these children are going to end up being street urchins. They're going yeah. to end up being street selling and everything. Um, you see them having like ten kids. I'm like, stop. I'm and you're poor. poor. I'm, I'm just poor. like... <laughs> yeah, and they'll be like, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm I'm living in a society that can provide for 10 children if I want to. Mm. If I want to live off the government. But I will never have an attempt to have a lot of kids here. Do you understand? Like, if I'm not comfortable having the children, my wife get, gets pregnant, I'll definitely tell her, hey, we can't do this now. It's mm. not, it makes no sense. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's an excuse. Then another thing is, if you as an adult, an educated person, because, you know, I started from people that are educated, and as an educated person, you realize that this is not the time and place to raise a child because you will not be able to give the child that dedicated love of a mother to that child. Or maybe okay. you're going you're going through school or, you know, it's this, the situation doesn't favor you. Don't say you're a macho woman and say, oh, you know, you know, people have all these sub stories of, I did, I did about my child, I went through this, but thank God, God bless me, you know. No, let's stop that nonsense. Mm. If you are in a situation where you can't raise a child to have the best of mother love, like a family, do you understand? Definitely consider an abortion. Don't even think about it. Do you understand? Mm. Because we have neglected the fact that we're bringing a child into this world. If the circumstances won't favor that child, let's not even attempt it. If the child is going to be born into a situation where there will be a lot of grief between the husband and the, the you know baby daddy and all this crap, mm -hmm. stop, stop, just not have the child. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. We 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 should ideally support a normal nuclear home of a mother, a father, and a child. 
you understand? Don't say because the father doesn't want the, to have the child. You want to go ahead and have the child just to prove him wrong, and then you so that you can have one success story in future. No, I see a lot of selfish reasons about why people have kids these days, and it's just ridiculous. You understand? Create if you know you can't provide a uh, 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 an, an enabling environment for a child to grow properly. Do not have that child. Do not say, okay, religion say don't do this or your morality is being brought into question. No, if you cannot provide a safe environment for a child to grow, don't have a child. Don't look at it as abortion, you're killing a child. No, you're not killing a child. You're actually depriving that child from coming into uh, already disadvantaged life. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? It's already tough out here. It's already too tough. Do you understand? For you to not bring a new child into that situation. So if the father doesn't want the child, I, I posted this on my page sometime, like, if a man says he doesn't want a child, doesn't, he's not in his space to be a father, he should be absolved of all responsibility to that child if he does not want to uh, be a part of that child. Mm -hmm. For example, now, for example, like, let's say um, a young guy in uni, you know, let's say under level, gets a girl pregnant. We, all, mm -hmm. we both know the moment we uh, have unprotected sex, two adults have one unprotected sex, we both know it's yeah. going to be the problem. There's a chance for that. Yes, <laughs> too. It's yes, too. Mm -hmm. They already taught us that penis and vagina is baby mm -hmm. born. So if two adults have consent in sex and they have sex and they didn't protect themselves, and after, you know, you have two chances to protect yourself before the sex and after the sex. <laughs> so if you didn't protect it the first time, the first chance you didn't, second time, and the man is telling you, I am not in that space to have a child. Do not force it on him. He has told you the truth. That's why people are saying, death be that, death be that. Some people don't show up. Did you ask the man if he wanted to have a child? Do you understand? <laughs> well, my issue with this is that they decided to do it together. Why can't they bear the consequence together? Because at, it's, still, uh, it's still in that gestation stage. Where you can easily have a walk into a clinic in 15 minutes, you're done. Do you understand? 15 minutes, you're done. If a woman chooses to not want to go through that process, she should accept responsibility fully. But wait, what if, what if, based on medical reasons, if she does an abortion, she, she dies? What? Yes. <laughs> okay. If, 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 you know, in a situation where she cannot medically have a medically induced abortion, then that's a different scenario because it's you can't take the girl's life now mm. the man has to play a role in the child's life but the overall i'm trying to say because someone is saying um you know if we're going to look at it from a religious perspective and morality even our conscience mm. abortion is not right mm -hmm. because our conscience tells us but we are not living by conscience anymore we're living by common sense and logic can i raise this child i'm any twenty thousand. Baby, you are pregnant. We can't. We are already barely drinking Gary in this house. We can't do it mm. because we already look at. Go to the north. Look at children. They have kids like pigs. Pardon my friend. They have kids like they have. They can have ten, twelve, and then they put these kids on the streets to go and beg for arms. Do you understand? They don't mm. see it as why am I bringing this child into this difficulty? They will just have kids and have kids and have kids, and you know it's 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 based solely on ignorance and. I've said it before. If fam let's build, you know, health centers, family planning centers in the ghetto to tell these people stop. Stop it. Even the moment you even you walk into a clinic and they tell you you're pregnant, they should look at your income. They say submit your tax, your income. How much do you make? Mm -hmm. How many kids do you have in your household? Do you understand? How many kids do you have in your house? If they see that you can, you are barely taking care of one child, they should just induce the abortion streets. No time. <laughs> Yeah. Also, I, 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 find it, I find it ridiculous where people are poor and they still want to have a lot of kids. I'm like, please, like, does it even make sense? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't even think about it. You see them, Okada man, I've been raising five kids. And you're like, That's what true. are you doing? And then they'll send those kids to go and live with their cousin, that will now molest the child. That's what I'm saying. If you cannot create an enabling yeah. environment for a child to grow, stop all this religious nonsense and morality nonsense. Don't bring a child into that suffering. They are raping kids. Kids are being sent to do housemates. Do you understand? If you're a farmer, have one child. 
if a farmer have one child, you say that you are able to give that child the best of life. The best. And then yeah. you live on that. But you now raise seven children and go and live with your auntie, go and live with your sister, and one cousin will now be molesting the child because you don't want to, because even God will punish you on top of it because, are you crazy? Why didn't you just stop the life from coming at the wrong time? Do you understand? Okay. That's, if we have that mentality, then Nigeria is already overpopulated. Nigeria is already overpopulated. And if you look at our own, our own generation, uh, our father's generation, they were able to have a lot of kids because education was cheap. Yeah. Sure. You, you can't even see little kids hawking that much in, in their own days. They don't hawk. Even if they hawk, they will still go to school because education was basic. Like it's something that your child must have. You can't get arrested if your child, they mm -hmm. bring your child, like your child is working. They will bring that child to your house and arrest you for. But now we have kids like pigs in a society where there's not even enough amenities for, you know, they can also see the poverty. They can see even their neighbors that are having ch children is sending their children to go and hook. They are still having their own kids there. So if that kind of ignorance is not what we should do from, from thinking about now. Hmm. China made, China has a one child policy. Oh, I'm telling you that they're already overpopulated. Yeah, this, exactly. resources is not enough. this resources is not enough. Don't do this now. We can't provide for our sources. Our resources within this country can't provide. So a lot of them leave and go overseas and have more kids. Do you understand? But in mm. China, no. They are, they, are, they are trying to balance things out because their country is already millions. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you understand? So in that kind of town, look at Nigeria. We are over, we are, last time I checked, we are over 180 million. Mm. If you go to the north, these kids are out of school because there's not enough schools True. to house them. And so they will marry them up at a very young age. Look at that kind of nonsense. Mm. And we are saying, oh, uh, Christ, we should not kill. You're not killing anything. You're being sensible. Do you understand? Mm. Let's, let's even stop all this whole taboo thing. Taboo is nonsense. Taboo is man-made. Taboo is man-made. Don't... Come on. For example, what are people that get raped? You rape someone now. That's another issue. Mm. Because they get pregnant. Okay. Go get one and so morality and Christianity will come and say, Have this child. You don't even know who the father is. That's already a broken child. That's mm. a child you're going to raise based off your own emotions. You're going to say, mm. Oh, uh, you're going to have that resentment inside you because you don't know who the father is and you were raped. Do you understand? So, you, mm. you, you, your religion and your morality and your conscience is telling you don't have an abortion because mm. you're killing a life. You will now bring a, 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 a child into an already existing toxic environment. Do you understand? You and the man aren't on good terms, and the man is, you know, you guys are fighting every time, and then you split up, and you go pregnant for him, and then you call him and say, I'm pregnant, and he tells you he doesn't want the child, and you go ahead and have the child. You're already bringing that child into a toxic environment. Because all the grief you have against the father, you will transfer it to that child. Do you understand? So there are many, many things we have to really, really consider before saying if abortion is right or not. We have, fine. It's been banned in America. People are saying the government shouldn't have a right to decide mm -hmm. what women do with their own body. And that's just common sense. The government should face governance. Don't face what goes on with the woman's body. Woman's body is a right. She, she has a right to her period. She has a right. Even if, if left to me, if women start their period, they should have three days off. Because it's just start three days off. <laughs> they should have three days off. Wait, if you need to go to the washroom, to you, you need to go to the toilet to pee. It's your normal mm -hmm. body function. You go. Mm -hmm. Right? Nobody stops you. You stand up in the mm -hmm. middle of the and peace. Mm -hmm. Because your body that is telling you. So why can't women too have days of when they can't tolerate the pain of their normal body function? Why? Why is it a big deal? Because I've seen women in pain, like literally in pain. And yeah. they go to work. Just like, yeah. if, if you have five days, they give you two days off out of the five days to, to take care of yourself, to rest. Do you understand? And it That's why like they employ more thing. men than women. Yeah. So my own is my own defense in terms of in favor of abortion is we have to remove religious and morality and consciousness from it and, and apply common sense and logic to otherwise our, our society is going to break down. If we mm. keep on churning out these kids to limited resources, they are going to be exposed to all sorts of vices and we're going to keep having kids on the street hawking we're going to have kids on the street trying to wash um cars we're going to have street kids on the street exposed to drugs and all sort of nonsense because the family can't be sustained on the income and the parents went ahead mm -hmm. and had children does that make, am I make, did that make any sense i i get your point i guess you <laughs> i really, really get your point but don't you feel 
um, like the best solution is abstinence. See, we've tested abstinence. That's failed our society. That's <laughs> Okay. Let's, yeah. ourselves. Let's not deploy things that are not working. Do you understand? Yeah. Abstinence has been practiced, practiced, practiced. HIV still became an epidemic. Is it not still? Like, we say abstain, 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 abstain. People are still catching STDs. Mm -hmm. It has failed. Abstinence has failed. It's, not going, it's only going to be, it's going to feed off a moral background if you've instilled it in the children. Just that that's when abstinence can fail. But just a grown up person that has been sexually active to abstain, chances are it will fail now. Do you understand? What you can probably just push towards is people having contraception, contraceptives, and all those things to kind of like, you know, contain the situation. But I can tell you, that's big moments that you decide to have unprotected sex. It mm. takes grace to decide not to. Mm. Because it's the body is lost. It's what God put in our body when penis says vagina. There's mm. fire. Fire has started. Everybody will lose common sense. Understand? <laughs> it's true. It's a hodge. It's a normal human urge. Do you understand? So it's it takes a very very disciplined person to say, oh yeah, let me put on condom or let me do this. But forget the abstinence is not going to work for our generation. Mm. Look, people can try celibacy. Do you understand? If if it be this, uh, the last day of your celibacy that decides to have sex, that's the day to now fertilize. Mm. That's true. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. so, I hope you understand the angle I'm coming mm -hmm. from. So, if it, if it could just be, you know, you're making out to the guy and you didn't even penetrate, maybe just penetrate a little bit, just that little bit. So, it's maybe. after that's his story. Let's talk about if the sex has happened, what do we do next? You know, contraceptions, um, you know, morning after pill and all those things. Do you mm -hmm. understand? Are you two that want to have sex as an adult if you're in a relationship? Decide what you guys want to do. Exactly. Ask, someone, ask the person, if I get pregnant, what are we going to do? Will you be responsible for it? Do you understand? Have a sense of direction of what you guys want to do. If he says no, just know that from that day, you are, you are protecting yourself. Do you um, lights of li lights of light. So the topic is um, abortion, a the problem or solution. I did in the first um, line. Okay. So if you can, let me see, I don't know, you are, you are going to be the one to clean it. Mm. But anyways, that's what I have to say, and I hope someone has learned something from it. And Yeah, thanks a lot. All right. People are just joining. <laughs> I still have to end this live, like, okay, thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you very much. Bye. So, Life of Light, that's the topic abortion a solution or problem um we've been up for over an hour um if i can just have one caller and then i would end the live then that'll be fine but that's the topic that's the topic abortion of problem or solution I think I think I want to go off now. Yeah, I do this often. I do it um every Sunday, um US time by four PM, Nigerian time nine PM. That's when I have this live. Um we have to talk about different topics. Although sometimes I've I've not really been consistent because I've been quite busy, but it's supposed to be every Sunday. Okay. Um I am the boy. I guess you'll be my last caller. Um You'll be my last caller because I've been here for over an hour. Hi, how are you doing? My first time caller, where are you calling from? Okay, I'm calling from Manitoba, Canada. Like precisely Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Okay, thanks for calling. I, I, thanks I'm for calling. Sorry, for me, I, 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 my name is Dago. Let me start. Okay, my name is nice Dago. to meet you. I understand what Mr. Femi was talking about and I okay. respect his opinion. But for me, like, be it a tissue, be it not formed yet, it's not a solution. Like, aborting is not a solution. Mm. Let me use myself as an example. Okay. I was raised in a family of, I was raised in a polygamous family. Okay. My mom can just choose to abort me because my entire life I didn't see my dad for more than 
three, four times, and I'm over 30. My dad wow. died May last, like May, May this year, May 30th. Mm -hmm. When he died, I didn't cry. Not because I don't love him, but because I didn't have that connection. Mm -hmm. But that, but let's assume that my mom chose to have bought me then. I get his point. He was talking more about the people that are poor. What about the people that are not poor, but it was just a mistake? You get my point. What happens to those, to those set of people? It is, I get his point. He was talking more about the not. Yeah, some people go pregnant and they have more kids. I think the problem is we should enlighten people. We should, like, aborting, aborting a child. You don't know what that child is going to be tomorrow. You, you are not God. I'm, I'm not, I understand. He was saying more about common sense. But look at me today. Let's assume my mom decided to be like, okay, but this guy is not ready and let me just abort the child. Mm -hmm. I won't be what I am today. I'm not very rich, but I'm comfortable, right? And mm -hmm. I've, been, I've, I've been a means of contact to people. So for me, like for me, I get his point, but he was talking more about the people that are poor. What about the people that are not poor? That just happened. Mm -hmm. Are you telling me everybody in Nigeria is poor? No, I lived in Nigeria for a period of years. There are some people that are not poor, but it just happened. But the thing there is, I always educate my friends, like, come, if you feel you can't marry this person, date this person, or probably father this person's child, please use gloves. It's not by force. Mm. We all, like, a... a, 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 a Percentage of number went to school, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, telling me abstinence won't work. It's you have, have they tried it? What's the percentage of being of the people that have tried it? But my my own is just you see. I won't lie. I once mm -hmm. done that. I have once aborted for a child for for someone. But to be honest, it was not my wish. I still feel bad about it today mm -hmm. because I told the person. Like, come, I'll give you my car. I'll provide this. But what I just feel is we should talk about telling our parents to accept us for whom we are. Like, when the lady told me, she was like, we don't even have enough money. What will my parents say? We are not married. Stuff like that. It hurt me. Like, it still hurt me to today, but it's, it's life, right? You have to just go on with it. But for me, abortion is a problem like you, it's it's not the right solution no no because so you're telling me every unwanted pregnancy you have to abort it even here in canada <laughs> you have the choice you have the sorry you have the choice for two times and people are fighting against it because this child didn't bring him, him or herself to life it's, it's nice. like a consent of two so if it's a mistake you both have to deal with it maybe we should have laws like we have here that states about once you have a child, is it that you give it? I know Nigerian government is not that functioning, but mm -hmm. let's say if you have a child, you just have to put something on the table for that child. And with time, I can have a child and I would just neglect that child. We are different, but I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy with short words, but my point is this. I strongly believe abortion is not the problem. It's not the solution. The solution. Mm -hmm. So you're saying every child now that's not wanted or it's not the right way should be aborted. No. Most of all these first bonds we see in Africa, they are a mistake. Mm. Let's be honest. I mean, like, <laughs> most, like, all these picking way before child, most of them mm. are a mistake. Nobody say they won't get, they don't say they are prepare. I just told you my own. My dad, mm -hmm. I, I love him. I pray so rest in peace. But he's not like they really wanted it. But it just happened. And mm. that's part of life. You have to deal with it. You brought the problem. You have to fix it. It is not about you just saying I don't have money. You knew you didn't have money before you went to prison. Wait, when you, yeah. mm. you knew you didn't have money to cater for the child when the probably the condom busted. And your sense didn't tell you. So that's your problem. The child didn't force 
him or herself to come to life. Actually, you have in your own you brought you drove him to life. You are, so for me, mm. it's your problem to deal with. Right now, I'm not married, but any lady I know, I can't. Like if it happens, I can't. I won't try. I would like I've been I've had events in my house mm. where I didn't know like guy things, right? The guy came to my house, used my cycle, like the condom thing, and mm. I didn't know. So when the lady when we were about to start, I didn't have any protection. I mm. stopped. I'm telling you straight, I stopped. The lady was like, Do you think I have a studio? Which I was like, No. In fact, to let the male lady feel comfortable, I was like, "Do you? Huh. You don't know me. You don't even know if I have any disease. I'm doing this for you." But deep down inside of me, I knew what I wanted. So you don't just say because you, when you know you don't want a child, you don't walk towards it. You want a BSc, you walk towards it. You want to harvest your crop, you walk during when well, what's it called during um, raining season. Let me say that one. Like yeah. where we have fall, spring, or the shit. Spring come here. Let me just cut it short. For me, mm. if you don't want something, don't go towards it. Don't say um, the government is not good. It was not the government that pushed you to the lady. You went there yourself. Okay, light up, lights drop. You can send me a DM. Just send me the topic and I'll talk about it. I actually the followed you straight up. I actually. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> you have my support. I'll probably suggest to my friends here too. Okay, right, thank you very good. much. Yeah, so yeah. see you um, next week. Uh, what time is it over there? It's always my. It's always um four p.m. U.S. time, nine p.m. Nigerian time. That's when I right come now online. Four fifty-six. Yeah. Um. You know the time in Canada is different. It's, it's different. Yes. Yeah, but I know from that means in Nigeria it should be around ten fifty-six. Yes, yeah, we around ten something. But I start my live Nigerian time is always by nine p.m. But I don't know today. I have a lot of callers today, so I had to. It's over an hour. <laughs> yeah, you call him from. So that's I'm calling from US. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means we, we share one hour difference. Different, yeah. yeah. I think so. so. Mm -hmm. I'm calling from Canada. So right okay. now it should be around maybe 5 to 6 there. Yeah, you're about, they're about, yeah. Yeah, it's one hour different. Yeah, mm. so don't worry, I, I got you every every Sunday I'll be here. I actually, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'm God sure bless you too. Please, mm. please. You don't know what that child will be tomorrow. Mm. I know what I'm saying. Mm. I still feel bad for that day because if I had that child, probably that child would be five by now. Five? Wow. And oh. we'll be here together, chilling. But such is life. Uh, thank okay, you. thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys. Um, thank you for today. Um it's it's been very very insightful like i really enjoyed myself today sincerely speaking thanks for your support thanks for joining for my first time callers i had some someone from uk someone from abuja canada um yeah i think that's yeah nigeria yeah someone from lagos thanks a lot guys thanks a lot for that and please light of lights just send me like a dm on the topic i'm talk about because sometimes i ask people what they want me to talk about you know that's pressing issue that person topic and i'll come out to talk about it um there'll be times i also invite guests to come up on live on, on live to also you know give their own so they talk about mental health relationship you know social economic issues a lot of that so thanks a lot for your support if you are not following me please follow me now so you get notifications when i you know put up the topic and you know and all of that i also have my youtube channel it's called abyss corner go check it out abyss corner um i'm gonna put up i'll put up on my on my feed so you guys would go join me um oh it's not shaking serious table okay next week let's see how it goes next week well thanks a lot guys i really enjoyed myself and hope to see you guys same time next week it's um 4 p.m u.s time 9 p.m nigerian time and yeah thank you bye <laughs>